Former USA citizens now living in European countries, what minor cultural change was the hardest for you to adjust to? Moved to the UK in 2014. The British are emotionally different. Not as gregarious and open as Americans. Being here a while now I've learned that once you make a British friend, they're your friend forever. But for the first year or so it was quite lonely. I felt like no one liked me which wasn't the case at all. They just don't show it and they're awkward and bone dry all the time. I now love this and have great affection for my adopted countrymen. It's funny you say that as I moved to the US from the UK two years ago. I find Americans to be nice on the surface and really friendly. However I find it all superficial but if you manage to get through that layer, they're a friend for life. Americans have this weird policy of being fake to those you dislike rather than make your dislike open. However, loyalty is valued above all else in most relationships here, so you do find that friends you've made usually are for life. Echoing a lot of these comments. The Supermarket Times. When I studied in Switzerland, the supermarkets closed around 6 every day except when they were closed on Sundays. Since I was often still working on my projects at school and making my way home by the times the shops closed, Saturday was my only shopping day. If I forgot or was busy during that time period, I would starve until Monday and that was that. No way was I paying 21 francs over $25 at the time for a slice of pizza, a Coca-Cola, and some fries at a restaurant. That's basically just Switzerland and Germany though. Rest of Europe shops in the evening and on Sundays. In the UK my local Tesco Extra Large Grocery Store is open 24-7. In Germany shops are usually open until 10 in cities or about 8 in more rural areas. I love where I live in France. And I've now been here many years. But I get annoyed how hard it is to find info about local cultural events online. I don't live in a big city. But I live in a very family-friendly, touristy town, and have to rely on mostly word of mouth or picking up flyers in random places to know what's going on. It makes it harder to make spontaneous plans, in my opinion. Waiters and service people in general not being proactive or dropping by just to check on you. Even though I know it's what I'm supposed to do, I still feel rude having to flag someone down to order or ask for the check. My first date living in Europe did not go well. What made it worse was the two hours I waited for the damn check. You have to ask otherwise the check will never come. It's rude to interrupt diners and rush them here. I've never been a US citizen, but I lived there for some time. When I came back to Europe my homeland of Poland I couldn't get used to that smiling to random people on the street or just casually starting small talks with people is not a thing you do here. I got many weird stares. I'm from the northeastern United States New York but moved down to the southeast. The southeastern states are notorious for being nice to strangers. They go as far as to giving a small wave to some random person driving down your street. I went back to New York a few months ago to visit friends. And I was walking down the street with my friend and her dog. And I had to stop myself from doing the wave to passing cars. It's not a thing in New York at least the part of the state I am from but I've lived in the south so long it's become a thing. Going grocery shopping every day if you're in a city and have no car. You gotta lug whatever you buy with you. It's also just normal to swing by the supermarket every day. I think. Also. Everything and I mean everything is closed on Sundays. I think the Sunday thing differs per country. In the Netherlands where I'm from supermarkets are definitely open on Sundays and I believe the same goes for the UK. Moved to Germany a few months ago and not a chance in heaven of anything being open here on Sunday. Also why can't I just pay by card everywhere? Germany pretends to be a very modern country but they have a bizarre aversion to paying with cards rather than cash. American living in the UK are you alright? Alright? As a greeting. Still, after nearly a decade of hearing it, I get confused thinking I must look awful. Nope. Just another way to say, how are you? Maybe one day I'll adjust. Last year I spent 9 months in Ukraine. The women there are always dressed to the f nines. Even just going grocery shopping. One girl there explained to me that, since clothes are so expensive their one pair of jeans can be two months salary. Easily the women only buy really nice clothes that will last them. They don't buy simple stuff that they can throw on and be casual. So they're always dressed up even in day-to-day -day activities. Even their casual jeans and t-shirts are still things that I see girls here wear on nights out. I am not that far from Ukraine and I don't know how much you exaggerated but that part of two months worth of salary per jeans is totally out of any basic economy. 
During the Kami era jeans used to cost a lot here, but never this much. Truth been told I hate to spend money on clothes in general no matter how much I make. I even had my jeans repaired because they are comfy and I can't find another like these. It took me a while to grasp the concept of eggs being left outside of the fridge. Can you explain why Europeans do that? That's a custom. I hadn't heard of people doing outside North America. Always thought it was the norm and to prevent things like spoilage to refrigerate eggs. But I am now curious to know why Europeans or at least many, if not all don't do that. Thanks. Eggs sold in the US go through a washing process, which if done correctly makes them less likely to spread salmonella. However, it also removes a natural protective coating, which protects the inside of the egg from bacteria etc. So the egg must then be refrigerated. So the US likes to rely on the washing process, and Europe on the natural coating. Also, in much of Europe, egg-laying hens are vaccinated against salmonella, removing the major incentive for washing eggs. I'm a European who does keep their eggs in the fridge, mostly because they do stay good for longer if you keep them cold a couple of weeks versus as much as two months. But if the fridge is full when I get back from the store, I stick the box of eggs on the counter and don't worry about it. So the doors don't open the same. In the US the doors almost always open away from you on the inside and you pull from the outside. This is a fire safety regulation. In the UK at least it is never consistent and I always open the wrong way. Also, it's a lie that Britain uses metric they do something worse than metric or imperial. They mix them. It's so annoying. School uniforms are a pain and it's also weird how judgy people are based on people's accents. In America, you can't really tell how much money someone makes off of their accent. Dutch birthday parties. Having to kiss everyone in the room upon arrival and departure and spending the event sitting in a circle eating oddly seasoned nuts. Oh believe me a lot of Dutch people including me hate that as well. My family never does the kissing but where I live everyone does, including the neighbors. Everyone eats next to nothing by American standards. People don't gorge themselves so sometimes it was quite daunting to go round someone's house on the weekend and all they have until supper is tea and a tiny cucumber sandwich. Or order a coffee and get a tiny espresso. Don't get me wrong I love these things but I was raised with a scarcity mindset. So I had to unlearn those habits. I have lived in Malta for over three months now. Things I miss from the US. Ice. Free water and refills at restaurants. American junk food like Cheez-Its. The vast variety of restaurants available in the US. And pharmacies just have drugs and not tons of other crap that CVS and Walgreens have. I went to a restaurant a few days ago that gave out free bottled water instead of tap water. It was weird. Currently in UK for the last four years. Walking everywhere and a lot of people don't have driver's licensees which is weird for me coming from South Carolina and now living in a large city. Definitely the humor and the way people joke. Like no one will actually say they're kidding and I always feel like I have to guess. The sarcasm is strong so sometimes I'm just not sure. Especially being in Scotland. Also all the tax being included in the price. You actually pay what the ticketed price is. No more adding extra for each item you put in your shopping basket. I lived in Germany for a significant portion of my life. By far the biggest cultural changes surrounded stores. How everything aside from restaurants were closed after 8 p.m. and not open on Sundays. I couldn't go f around at grocery stores at 3 a.m. with friends or do really anything in the wee hours of the morning that involved going out unless there was a festival going on or something. I came back to the States years ago, but I honestly kind of miss it there. Where I live we have the night shops. They are a blessing when you need something after 8 p.m. Constantly having coins in my pocket and actually using them was something that took me a bit to get used to. You can't have a birthday party a couple days before your birthday in Germany. You can't wish someone a happy birthday a day or two before their birthday. Even if you won't see each other for a long time, it's considered very bad luck. This was a long time ago and I'm not sure if it's still like this but I lived in Sicily for two years. Getting used to trying to get anything accomplished during siesta. Gas stations even along the highway not being open on Sundays. The crazy driving through narrow streets. Everything will be done domani but it's never actually done by tomorrow. Half finished houses. Dodging Vespa bandits. Lots of things to get used to but I'd do it again in a heartbeat. No free water in many countries in restaurants. 
France is a noticeable exception, and no free public toilets, even in some stores. Paying a few cents or up to two euro to use the bathroom is wild. And smokers, smokers everywhere, smoking in front of kids, in train stations, old men smoking cigars and pipes on the street, very smelly and annoying at times.